So this is the project that I've been working on today. Uh, as you may or may not know, I've been dealing with OpenCV, an uh, open source computer vision framework for the past month or so. Uh, basically what OpenCV allows you to do, or it allows the computer to do, is the, the computer can detect objects that you've, you've trained it to detect in still pictures and also in video, real time. Uh, it can detect where that image is in the video feed or on the picture, uh, and then you can trigger events to happen. So I've had my little cars uh, that literally follow Lewis Rossman's uh, logo. I've been doing that with uh, OpenCV. The problem that I've been running into is it's difficult sometimes to understand what OpenCV uh, actually uh, sees. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, because of that, uh, it's kind of complicated to write the code and understand how things are supposed to work. So what I did today is I created this script. And basically what I do is I, I feed it a cascade filter. So this is a hard cascade for frontal face default. This is a, a standard uh, uh, cascade filter that comes with OpenCV. Uh, basically what I do is I detect uh, whether or not um, a, uh, a face or the object in this filter is in an image. Uh, and then if it is, basically I print it out onto the screen, uh, just into the console screen. Uh, and I also then dynamically create a web page so that I know uh, uh, basically, it's easier to understand what the computer sees. Uh, so let me do the control S here. Uh, we can go here uh, to the console. Uh, I can run this script. Let's see, it's going to run. And then basically it's printing out onto the screen. Uh, it tells me for troubleshooting purposes what hard cascade I'm using, just in case I fat finger something and screw it up. It says pictures with the object and all the pictures uh, within a folder that have the object in it. Uh, and then all the pictures in a folder that do not have the object in it. The cool part is I can then come over here to Firefox. And again, it dynamically created uh, this web page for me. Again, it still tells me what hard cascade cascade I'm using and then it tells me it shows me uh, what images ha were had the object detected and whatnot so I'm looking for a frontal face and that's a frontal face <laughs> that's a frontal face that's a frontal face that's a frontal face that's obviously a face that's obviously a face those people are faces uh, then we have not detected down here apples cat apples Lewis's logo more cats right so I can sit here and I go ah well, that's a bit of an issue. I'm looking for frontal faces, and yes, it does detect the faces properly, but it also thinks a cow is a face and a gorilla is a face and the whole nine yards. So the curious thing is, the cool thing, I can go back to my uh, my little script here, and then I can change the hard cascade I'm using. So they also give me uh, a number of different uh, frontal face cascade filters I can try to use. So if I go here and I use the alt one, we're gonna save that. <clears throat> We're going to go here. We're actually going to run the script. Okay, that is now done. And using that particular filter, we can see that seems to work a whole hell of a lot better. We still get one ape. We still get one ape which is in the modern world. Something you gotta be careful about. But yes, okay, so this has faces in it, this has faces in it, this has faces in it. If we look down here, cow is not a human face, apple is not a human face, so on and so forth. <clears throat> and so what I wanna do is I wanna use a script a lot like this. I'll, I'll probably modify this a little bit more. Uh, basically just as a way I can feed a crap ton of images to OpenCV using a filter that I've already trained and just verify what the hell it's actually seeing. So uh, based off of lighting conditions, based off of the angle of the object, based off of a lot of different things, <clears throat> it may either help the computer detect the object or hinder the computer detecting the object. And this is just a visual way I can get a better idea of how well my OpenCV uh, cascade filters have been trained. So yeah, that is the project I've been working on today. Uh, so this will go on to GitHub. I don't think this is horrible. This may not be the best syntax in the world, but I actually think I'm starting to get a little bit better with this whole Python syntax thing. Uh, so I'll upload this to GitHub. Um, I will give you a link down below if you will still want to play with it. Again, uh, these cascades, uh, so that when you download uh, open the OpenCV uh, directory with all the OpenCV stuff in it, there's a data folder in there. Uh, within that data folder is a hard cascades folder. And then there's just a whole bunch of these. There's, I don't know, 15 different cascades. They even have cat face. So you can actually do frontal cat face. Uh, and that's all just 
pre-trained. You don't have to do anything. You just feed it to the script and it'll work. Um, so, so there you go. That's only for you to look at. Uh, and we're doing this. We're doing this, uh, this video in the little booth today. Um, so, uh, so Hatch, you know, Hatch uh, Works or Hatch Coworking over here, they got these little um, sound booths, these little telephone booths. And so, uh, so we're doing, doing this video in the sound booth today. And I have to say, I like it. I have to say, like it. they're pricey. They're pricey. These are like Apple level sound booths. It costs like $5,000 for one of these little uh, telephone booths things. But I can't hear anything in the outside world. Look people in the outside world can't hear anything from the outside world and they really can't hear me so i'll probably start doing more of these uh, these videos in this little room because obviously it works well so anyways with that see y'all later